The Bersetti Gang is a powerful criminal organization based in and around Vice City, Florida. They are led by Tommy Bersetti and are essentially a splinter group of the Ferrelli family, of which Bersetti was previously recognized as a member, and the former Diaz Gang. They first appear midway through GTA Vice City. The Bersetti Gang are never formally named in the game. The name Bersetti Gang came from Kaufman Cab's dispatcher Doris announcing Tommy Bersetti's takeover of the business to the drivers. Upon reaching 100% completion, three Bersetti Gang members can be recruited and act as bodyguards for $2,000. If they accidentally shoot the player during a gunfight, no health or armor will be lost. The Bersetti Gang is the only gang in normal gameplay to use any firearm other than a pistol as they begin to carry Uzis. Tommy Versetti's gang and empire are clearly inspired by the Montana cartel from the 1983 film Scarface because members of both gangs are made of employees of drug lords which the protagonist has killed in order to take over their empire. The Versetti estate is clearly based on Tony Montana's mansion from Scarface. Sonny Ferrelli is an Italian-American mobster and the dawn of the Liberty City-based Ferrelli crime family as of 1986, a friend and the boss of GTA Vice City protagonist Tommy Versetti. In 1971, Sonny sent Tommy to Harwood to assassinate a key mobster. However, when Tommy arrived, he found himself surrounded by 11 hitmen. The 11-man ambush was ordered by Sonny himself. Due to Sonny and the Ferrelli family's connections, Tommy was spared the death penalty or life imprisonment, instead being sentenced to 15 years in prison. Sonny Ferrelli is similar to Sonny Corleone from 1972 film The Godfather. Both of them act as boss for their family, and both have same ruthless, short-tempered personality. According to Dan Hauser in an IGN interview, Sonny and Tommy were friends since childhood. In the same interview, Hauser explained that Tommy never told anyone that Sonny was the one who sent him to kill the key mobster, and by extension his henchman, because he believed in a mafia code and sense of honor amongst thieves. Sonny is the only Ferrelli family member who wasn't killed in Liberty City. Pig, the patrol invest group are a legitimate security force that is part of DBP security. They are however involved in several illegal protection rackets with the Vice City Triads. Their legal operations include patrolling the North Point Mall, Escobar International Airport, Leaflings Country Club, and Starfish Island, which could be considered their turf. Even though they don't strictly appear as a gang, the in-game stats classify them as so, listing them as security guards in the gang section. Besides that, they can sometimes also be seen being chased by the police and if hit while in chase, Tommy will be given the good citizen bonus of $50. During the storyline, they are not as important nor as powerful as the other gangs, though they do make quite a lot of appearances, such as protecting Alex Shrub, Love Fist, and a counterfeiting protection business for the Vice City Triads. They roam around unlike any gang, as members can be seen patrolling the streets individually throughout Vice City. They will shoot at the Street One of's members at the mall and Versetti gang members if near Versetti Estate. They will only shoot Tommy in self-defense or even if he shoots a bullet in any direction. The Street wannabes are a band of thugs who roam around the North Point Mall and Prawn Island. Their unnamed leader steals from Ricardo Diaz and is killed by Tommy in an airstrike, leaving the street wannabes with no known leader. Similarly to the PIG, they are not as important nor powerful as the other gangs, and are always killed by Tommy in the few storyline appearances they make. They seem to be on bad terms with the Vice City bikers as they stole Mitch Baker's motorcycle and with Diaz gang due to their leader stealing from Ricardo. They were also ambushed by Tommy due to orders from Umberto Rabina, suggesting they are also enemies of the Cubans. By the events of 1986, the Cubans are involved in a war against their main rivals, the Haitians gang, to become the dominant gang in Little Havana. Street wannabes are not hostile to Tommy, even after he kills their leader and will only shoot in self-defense or if hijacked. They will always shoot against the pig guards when one enters the mall. The Vice City Bikers is a motorcycle club in GTA Vice City. They are the only motorcycle gang present in the game. The Hells Angels Motorcycle Club is the inspiration for the gang, as they are later hired as security for a concert of the hair metal band Love Fist. This is a reference to the disastrous Rolling Stones show at Altamont, where Hells Angels were hired as security and an angel stabbed a member of the crowd. They are influenced by neo-Nazi culture, with some of them have iron cross tattoos on their shoulders. Although members of the gang do not usually appear during normal free roaming in GTA Vice City, there will always be a stationary member wearing body armor outside the greasy chopper bar. Simply put, they are the biggest family of misfits, outcasts and badasses as quoted by their leader, Big Mitch Baker. Baker is a Vietnam veteran, and apparently earned a purple heart while killing a village full of enemies. In GTA Vice City stories, the Vice City bikers are revealed to be a large criminal organization, owning several businesses in downtown Vice City and Vice Point. 
the Cubans are a Latin street gang in GTA Vice City. The Cubans are led by Umberto Rabina and are based in the Little Havana district of Vice City. Cuban gang members are either seen wearing white sleeveless shirts with a Japanese symbol and writing, red bandanas and jeans, or a fedora hat, light yellow shirts and black pants in Vice City. They are armed with 9mm pistols. The 10th anniversary version of GTA Vice City had all references to the Cuban and Haitian people removed in response to Cuban and Haitian groups in the United States who threatened to use action against Rockstar Games on the basis that they were being discriminated against. This is also why in GTA Vice City stories the gang is referred to as Los Cabrans as opposed to simply the Cubans as they were in GTA Vice City. The Cubans are likely based on the Marielitos, the name of numerous gangs who were descended from refugees who came to the United States during the Mariel boatlift and were active in the 1980s. Cuban gang members will still engage in gun fights against the Versetti gang but will not attack Tommy himself. The Cubans have two true arch enemies, the Cholos and the Haitians. Drug Baron Ricardo Diaz unnamed drug cartel, referred to as Diaz's gang was a Vice City-based Colombian drug cartel, appearing as the secondary group of antagonists in GTA Vice City. Circa 1984, Diaz's organization was a major rival to the then most powerful drug barons, the Mendez Cartel. Diaz enlisted the help of the Vance brothers, Victor in particular, to eliminate Diego and Armando Mendez. The Diaz Cartel became the dominant drug-running organization in Vice City, with Ricardo's aggressive interest in staying on top of the drug smuggling business a defining factor which lasted until Tommy Versetti's takeover of Vice City. Diaz Gang are a reference to the movie Scarface, where there is a drug cartel called the Diaz Cartel, who are also drug dealers and are enemies of Tony Montana, who Tommy Versetti is based on. Diaz men that disrupted the drug deal between Tommy and the Vance brothers are inspired by the LAPD SWAT team in the Die Hard, 1988, movie, who have similar uniforms. The Haitians are a street gang in GTA Vice City. They are the main rivals of the Cubans, and they vie for control of the poorer neighborhoods of Vice City. Haitian gang members are seen wearing either blue shirts, reading relax, white pants and baseball caps, silver sunglasses, or light purple sleeveless shirts, jeans and blue bandanas. The gang is exclusively composed of Haitian immigrants slash descendants, and are mainly active in the Vice City mainland with their home turf being Little Haiti. Prior to the mission Trojan Voodoo, they will also spawn in Little Havana, often engaging the rival Cubans in gunfights. The Haitians are primarily involved in minor street crime, such as robbery, gun crime, and petty theft, but seem to have larger ambitions, as they appear to be engaging in both arms and narcotics trafficking. The gang is unique in their practice of a corrupted form of voodoo, or it is implied they curse their enemies. The Haitians are loosely inspired by the Zoe Pound, an active Haitian gang that primarily operates in Miami. Both gangs practice Haitian voodoo, though the Zoe Pound did not form until 1992.